Hadith 1. Narrated Ibn Umar, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Islam is based on five principles. 1. To testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and Muhammad is Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. 2. To offer the compulsory congregational prayers dutifully and perfectly. 3. To pay zakat, that is, obligatory charity. 4. To perform hajj, that is, pilgrimage to Makkah. 5. To observe fast during the month of Ramadan. Hadith 2. Narrated Abu Hurairah, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Faith, belief, consists of more than sixty branches, that is, parts and haya is a part of faith. This term, haya, covers a large number of concepts which are to be taken together, amongst them are self-respect, modesty, bashfulness, and scruple, etc. Hadith 3 Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, A Muslim is the one who avoids harming Muslims with his tongue and hands. And a muhajir, emigrant, is the one who gives up, abandons, all what Allah has forbidden. Hadith 4 Narrated Abu Musa, some people asked Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, whose Islam is the best. That is, who is a very good Muslim? He replied, one who avoids harming the Muslims with his tongue and hands. Hadith 5 Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, a man asked the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, what sort of deeds or, what qualities of, Islam are good? The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, to feed, the poor, and greet those whom you know and those whom you do not know. Hadith 6 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, none of you will have faith till he wishes for his, Muslim, brother what he likes for himself. Hadith 7 Narrated Abu Hurairah, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, By him in whose hands my life is, none of you will have faith till he loves me more than his father and his children. Hadith 8 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, None of you will have faith till he loves me more than his father, his children and all mankind. Hadith 9 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, whoever possesses the following three qualities will have the sweetness, delight, of faith. 1. The one to whom Allah and his Apostle become dearer than anything else. 2. Who loves a person and he loves him only for Allah's sake. 3. Who hates to revert to atheism, disbelief, as he hates to be thrown into the fire. Hadith 10. Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Love for the Ansar is a sign of faith and hatred for the Ansar is a sign of hypocrisy. Hadith 11 Narrated Ubadah bin Asamit, who took part in the Battle of Badr and was a Nakib, a person heading a group of six persons, on the night of Allah Kaaba pledge. Allah's Apostle said while a group of his companions were around him, Swear allegiance to me for. 1. Not to join anything in worship along with Allah. 2. Not to steal. 3. Not to commit illegal sexual intercourse. 4. Not to kill your children. 5. Not to accuse an innocent person, to spread such an accusation among people. 6. Not to be disobedient, when ordered, to do good deed. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, added, Whoever among you fulfills his pledge will be rewarded by Allah. And whoever indulges in any one of them, except the ascription of partners to Allah, and gets the punishment in this world, that punishment will be an expiation for that sin. And if one indulges in any of them, and Allah conceals his sin, it is up to him to forgive or punish him, in the hereafter. Ubadah bin as samad added, so we swore allegiance for these, points to Allah's Apostle.
Hadith 12 Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qadri, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, A time will soon come when the best property of a Muslim will be sheep which he will take on the top of mountains and the places of rainfall, valleys, so as to flee with his religion from afflictions. Hadith 13 Narrated Aisha, Whenever Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, ordered the Muslims to do something, he used to order them deeds which were easy for them to do, according to their strength and endurance. They said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. We are not like you. Allah has forgiven your past and future sins. So Allah's Apostle became angry and it was apparent on his face. He said, I am the most Allah, fearing, and know Allah better than all of you do. Hadith 14 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever possesses the following three qualities will taste the sweetness of faith. 1. The one to whom Allah and his Apostle become dearer than anything else. 2. Who loves a person and he loves him only for Allah's sake. 3. Who hates to revert to disbelief, atheism, after Allah has brought, saved, him out from it, as he hates to be thrown in fire. Hadith 15 Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qadri, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, When the people of Paradise will enter Paradise and the people of Hell will go to Hell, Allah will order those who have had faith equal to the weight of a grain of mustard seed to be taken out from Hell. So they will be taken out but, by then, they will be blackened, charred. Then they will be put in the river of Haya, rain, or Hayat, life, the narrator is in doubt as to which is the right term, and they will revive like a grain that grows near the bank of a flood channel. Don't you see that it comes out yellow and twisted? Hadith 16 Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Qadri, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, While I was sleeping, I saw, in a dream, some people wearing shirts, of which some were reaching up to the breasts only while others were even shorter than that. Umar bin al-Khattab was shown wearing a shirt that he was dragging. The people asked, How did you interpret it? What is its interpretation, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him? He, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, It is the religion. Hadith 17 Narrated Abdullah, bin Umar, once Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, passed by an unsari man who was admonishing his brother regarding Haya. On that, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Leave him, as Haya is a part of faith. Hadith 18 Narrated Ibn Umar, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, I have been ordered, by Allah, to fight against the people until they testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and that Muhammad is Allah's messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, and offer the prayers perfectly and give the obligatory charity. So if they perform that, then they save their lives and property from me except for Islamic laws, and then their reckoning, accounts, will be done by Allah. Hadith 19 Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, was asked, What is the best deed? He replied, To believe in Allah and his Apostle, Muhammad. The questioner then asked, What is the next, in goodness? He replied, To participate in jihad, religious fighting, in Allah's cause. The questioner again asked, What is the next, in goodness? He replied, To perform Hajj Mabrur, pilgrimage to Makkah, which is accepted by Allah and is performed with the intention of seeking Allah's pleasure only and not to show off, and without committing a sin and in accordance with the traditions of the Prophet. Hadith 20 Narrated Sa'ad, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, distributed zakat amongst a group of people while I was sitting there, but Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, left a man whom I thought the best of the lot. I asked, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. Why have you left that person? By Allah I regard him as a faithful believer. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, commented, or merely a Muslim. 
I remained quiet for a while, but could not help repeating my question because of what I knew about him. And then asked Allah's Messenger, Peace and blessings be upon him, why have you left so and so? By Allah. He is a faithful believer. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, again said, or merely a Muslim. And I could not help repeating my question because of what I knew about him. Then the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, O Sa'ad. I give to a person while another is dearer to me, for fear that he might be thrown on his face in the fire by Allah. Hadith 21 Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, a person asked Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, what, sort of, deeds in or, what qualities of, Islam are good? He replied, to feed, the poor, and greet those whom you know and those whom you don't know. Hadith 22 Narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, I was shown the hellfire and that the majority of its dwellers were women who were ungrateful. It was asked, Do they disbelieve in Allah? Or are they ungrateful to Allah? He replied, They are ungrateful to their husbands and are ungrateful for the favors and the good, charitable deeds, done to them. If you have always been good, benevolent, to one of them and then she sees something in you, not of her liking, she will say, I have never received any good from you. Hadith 23 Narrated al marur at ar rabada I met Abu Dar who was wearing a cloak, and his slave, too, was wearing a similar one. I asked about the reason for it. He replied, I abused a person by calling his mother with bad names. The Prophet said to me, O oh, Abu Dar, Did you abuse him by calling his mother with bad names? You still have some characteristics of ignorance. Your slaves are your brothers and Allah has put them under your command. So whoever has a brother under his command should feed him of what he eats and dress him of what he wears. Do not ask them, slaves, to do things beyond their capacity, power, and if you do so, then help them. Hadith 24 Narrated Allah Hanaf bin Qais, while I was going to help this man, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Abu Bakra met me and asked, Where are you going? I replied, I am going to help that person. He said, Go back, for I have heard Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, saying, When two Muslims fight, meet, each other with their swords, both the murderer as well as the murdered will go to the hellfire. I said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. It is all right for the murderer but what about the murdered one? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, he surely had the intention to kill his companion. Hadith 25 Narrated Abdullah, when the following verse was revealed, it is those who believe and confuse not their belief with wrong, worshipping others besides Allah. Surah 6, Ayah 83, the companions of Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, asked, who is amongst us who had not done injustice, wrong? Allah revealed, no doubt, joining others in worship with Allah is a great injustice, wrong, indeed. Hadith 26 Narrated Abu Hurairah, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, The signs of a hypocrite are three. 1. Whenever he speaks, he tells a lie. 2. Whenever he promises, he always breaks it, his promise. 3. If you trust him, he proves to be dishonest. If you keep something as a trust with him, he will not return it. Hadith 27 Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever has the following four characteristics will be a pure hypocrite, and whoever has one of the following four characteristics will have one characteristic of hypocrisy, unless and until he gives it up. 1. Whenever he is entrusted, he betrays. 2. Whenever he speaks, he tells a lie. 3. Whenever he makes a covenant, he proves treacherous. 4. Whenever he quarrels, he behaves in a very imprudent, evil and insulting manner. Hadith 28
Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever establishes the prayers on the night of Qadr out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's rewards, not to show off, then all his past sins will be forgiven. Hadith 29 Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, The person who participates in, holy battles, in Allah's cause and nothing compels him to do so except belief in Allah and his apostles, will be recompensed by Allah either with a reward, or booty, if he survives, or will be admitted to paradise, if he is killed in the battle as a martyr. Had I not found it difficult for my followers, then I would not remain behind any Sariya going for jihad and I would have loved to be martyred in Allah's cause and then made alive, and then martyred and then made alive, and then again martyred in his cause. Hadith 30 Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever establishes prayers during the nights of Ramadan faithfully out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's rewards, not for showing off, all his past sins will be forgiven. Hadith 31 Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever observes fasts during the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith, and hoping to attain Allah's rewards, then all his past sins will be forgiven. Hadith 32 Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Religion is very easy, and whoever overburdens himself in his religion will not be able to continue in that way. So you should not be extremists, but try to be near to perfection and receive the good tidings that you will be rewarded, and gain strength by worshipping in the mornings, the afternoons, and during the last hours of the nights. Hadith 33 Narrated al bara bin Azib, when the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, came to Medina, he stayed first with his grandfathers or maternal uncles from Ansar. He offered his prayers facing Baitul Muqdis, Jerusalem, for sixteen or seventeen months, but he wished that he could pray facing the Kaaba, at Makkah. The first prayer which he offered facing the Kaaba was the Usr prayer in the company of some people. Then one of those who had offered that prayer with him came out and passed by some people in a mosque who were bowing during their prayers, facing Jerusalem. He said addressing them, By Allah, I testify that I have prayed with Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, facing Makkah, Kaaba. Hearing that, those people changed their direction towards the Kaaba immediately. Jews and the people of the Scriptures used to be pleased to see the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, facing Jerusalem in prayers but when he changed his direction towards the Kaaba, during the prayers, they disapproved of it. al bara added, before we changed our direction towards the Kaaba, Makkah, in prayers, some Muslims had died or had been killed and we did not know what to say about them, regarding their prayers. Allah then revealed, and Allah would never make your faith, prayers, to be lost, that is, the prayers of those Muslims were valid. Surah 2, Ayah 143 Hadith 34 Narrated Abu Sa'id al qudri Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, If a person embraces Islam sincerely, then Allah shall forgive all his past sins, and after that starts the settlement of accounts, the reward of his good deeds will be ten times to seven hundred times for each good deed, and one evil deed will be recorded as it is, unless Allah forgives it. Hadith 35 Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, if any one of you improves, follows strictly, his Islamic religion then his good deeds will be rewarded ten times to seven hundred times for each good deed and a bad deed will be recorded as it is. Hadith 36 Narrated Aisha, once the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, came while a woman was sitting with me. He said, Who is she? I replied, She is so and so, and told him about her, excessive, praying. He said disapprovingly, Do good deeds which is within your capacity, without being overtaxed, as Allah does not get tired, of giving rewards, but, surely, you will get tired, and the best deed, act of worship, in the sight of Allah is that which is done regularly. Hadith 37 
narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever said, None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and has in his heart good, faith, equal to the weight of a barley grain will be taken out of hell. And whoever said, None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and has in his heart good, faith, equal to the weight of a wheat grain will be taken out of hell. And whoever said, None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and has in his heart good, faith, equal to the weight of an atom will be taken out of hell. Hadith 38 Narrated Umar bin al-Khattab, Once a Jew said to me, O the chief of believers! There is a verse in your holy book which is read by all of you, Muslims, and had it been revealed to us, we would have taken that day, on which it was revealed, as a day of celebration. Umar bin al-Khattab asked, Which is that verse? The Jew replied, This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Surah 5, Ayah 3 Umar replied, No doubt, we know when and where this verse was revealed to the Prophet. It was Friday and the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, was standing at Arafat, that is, the day of Hajj. Hadith 39 Narrated Tulha bin Ubaidullah, a man from Najd with unkempt hair came to Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, and we heard his loud voice but could not understand what he was saying, till he came near and then we came to know that he was asking about Islam. Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, you have to offer prayers perfectly five times in a day and night, twenty-four hours. The man asked, Is there any more, praying? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, No, but if you want to offer the Nawafil prayers, you can. Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, further said to him, You have to observe fasts during the month of Ramadan. The man asked, Is there any more fasting? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, No, but if you want to observe the Nawafil fasts, you can. Then Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, further said to him, You have to pay the zakat, obligatory charity. The man asked, Is there anything other than the zakat for me to pay? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, No, unless you want to give alms of your own. And then that man retreated saying, By Allah! I will neither do less nor more than this. Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, If what he said is true, then he will be successful, that is, he will be granted paradise. Hadith 40 Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, A believer, who accompanies the funeral procession of a Muslim out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's reward and remains with it till the funeral prayer is offered and the burial ceremonies are over, he will return with a reward of two kirats. Each kirat is like the size of the mountuhood. He who offers the funeral prayer only and returns before the burial, will return with the reward of one kirat only. Hadith 41 Narrated Abdullah, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Abusing a Muslim is fusuk, an evil doing, and killing him is kufr, disbelief. Hadith 42 Narrated Ubadah bin us Samit, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, went out to inform the people about the date of the night of decree, al qadr but there happened a quarrel between two Muslim men. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, I came out to inform you about, the date of, the night of Ul Qadr, but as so and so and so and so quarreled, its knowledge was taken away, I forgot it, and maybe it was better for you. Now look for it in the seventh, the ninth and the fifth, of the last ten nights of the month of Ramadan. Hadith 43 Narrated Abu Huraira, One day while the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, was sitting in the company of some people, the angel, Gabriel came and asked, What is faith? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, Faith is to believe in Allah, his angels, the meeting with him, his apostles, and to believe in resurrection. Then he further asked, What is Islam? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, 
replied, to worship Allah alone and none else, to offer prayers perfectly, to pay the compulsory charity, zakat, and to observe fasts during the month of Ramadan. Then he further asked, What is Ihsan, perfection? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, To worship Allah as if you see him, and if you cannot achieve this state of devotion then you must consider that he is looking at you. Then he further asked, When will the hour be established? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, replied, The answerer has no better knowledge than the questioner. But I will inform you about its portents. 1. When a slave, lady, gives birth to her master. 2. When the shepherds of black camels start boasting and competing with others in the construction of higher buildings. And the hour is one of five things which nobody knows except Allah. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, then recited, Verily, with Allah, alone, is the knowledge of the hour. Surah 31, Ayah 34 Then that man, Gabriel, left, and the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, asked his companions to call him back, but they could not see him. Then the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, that was Gabriel who came to teach the people their religion. Abu Abdullah said, he, the Prophet, considered all that as a part of faith. Hadith 44 Narrated Abdullah bin Abbas, I was informed by Abu Sufyan that Heraclius said to him, I asked you whether they, followers of Muhammad, were increasing or decreasing. You replied that they were increasing. And in fact, this is the way of true faith till it is complete in all respects. I further asked you whether there was anybody, who, after embracing his, the Prophet's, religion, Islam, became displeased and discarded it. You replied in the negative, and in fact, this is, a sign of, true faith. When its delight enters the heart and mixes with them completely, nobody can be displeased with it. Hadith 45 Narrated an Nu'man bin Bashir, I heard Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, saying, Both legal and illegal things are evident, but in between them there are doubtful, suspicious, things, and most of the people have no knowledge about them. So whoever saves himself from these suspicious things saves his religion and his honor. And whoever indulges in these suspicious things is like a shepherd who grazes, his animals, near the hima, private pasture, of someone else and at any moment he is liable to get in it. O oh people! Beware! Every king has a hima, and the hima of Allah on the earth is his illegal, forbidden, things. Beware! There is a piece of flesh in the body, if it becomes good, reformed, the whole body becomes good, but if it gets spoilt the whole body gets spoilt, and that is the heart. Hadith 46 Narrated Abu Jamra, I used to sit with Ibn Abbas and he made me sit on his sitting place. He requested me to stay with him in order that he might give me a share from his property. So I stayed with him for two months. Once he told, me, that when the delegation of the tribe of Abdul Qais came to the Prophet, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, asked them, Who are the people, that is, you? Or, Who are the delegate? They replied, We are from the tribe of Rabiah. Then the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said to them, Welcome. O people, or O delegation of Abdul Qais! Neither will you have disgrace nor will you regret. They said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. We cannot come to you except in the sacred month and there is the infidel tribe of Mudar intervening between you and us. So please order us to do something good, religious deeds, so that we may inform our people whom we have left behind, at home, and that we may enter paradise, by acting on them. Then they asked about drinks, what is legal and what is illegal. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, ordered them to do four things and forbade them from four things. He ordered them to believe in Allah alone and asked them, Do you know what is meant by believing in Allah alone? They replied, Allah and his apostle know better. Thereupon the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, It means 1. 
to testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and Muhammad is Allah's messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. 2. To offer prayers perfectly. 3. To pay the zakat, obligatory charity. 4. To observe fast during the month of Ramadan. 5. And to pay al kumus one-fifth of the booty to be given in Allah's cause. Then he forbade them four things, namely, Huntam, Dubba, Nakir and Muzaffat or Mukayyar, these were the names of pots in which alcoholic drinks were prepared. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, mentioned the container of wine and he meant the wine itself. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, further said to them, memorize them, these instructions, and convey them to the people whom you have left behind. Hadith 47 Narrated Umar bin al-Khattab, Allah's messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, The reward of deeds depends upon the intention and every person will get the reward according to what he has intended. So whoever emigrated for Allah and his apostle, then his emigration was for Allah and his apostle. And whoever emigrated for worldly benefits or for a woman to marry, his emigration was for what he emigrated for. Hadith 48 Narrated Abu Masud, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, If a man spends on his family, with the intention of having a reward from Allah, sincerely for Allah's sake, then it is a kind of almsgiving in reward for him. Hadith 49 Narrated Sa'id bin Abi Waqqas, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, you will be rewarded for whatever you spend for Allah's sake, even if it were a morsel which you put in your wife's mouth. Hadith 50 Narrated Jarir bin Abdullah, I gave the pledge of allegiance to Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, for the following. 1. Offer prayers perfectly. 2. Pay the zakat, obligatory charity. 3. And be sincere and true to every Muslim. Hadith 51. Narrated Ziyad bin Alaka, I heard Jarir bin Abdullah praising Allah. On the day when Al Mugirah bin Shu'bah died, he, Jarir, got up on the pulpit and thanked and praised Allah and said, Be afraid of Allah alone who has none along with him to be worshipped. You should be calm and quiet till the new chief comes to you and he will come to you soon. Ask Allah's forgiveness for your late chief because he himself loved to forgive others. Jarir added, Amma Ba'adu, now then, I went to the Prophet and said, I give my pledge of allegiance to you for Islam. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, conditioned, my pledge, for me to be sincere and true to every Muslim so I gave my pledge to him for this. By the Lord of this mosque. I am sincere and true to you, Muslims. Then Jarir asked for Allah's forgiveness and came down from the pulpit.